Let's solve this question together. So I'm going to first read the passage and when I'm reading the passage, I'm going to completely immerse myself in the passage and I want you to observe exactly how I'm doing that. Okay. So here's the passage. The couple decides one day that they will definitely go to the beach. So there is this definite uh, decision to go to the beach when the next evening, if it is sunny without rain at the time they plan to go. So there are two conditions over here. Condition number one is it is sunny without rain. Condition number two is when is it sunny with, without rain? At the time they plan to go, which is tomorrow evening. Okay. That's what they are, they are talking about. So let me just understand this a little bit more and, I, and I'll read the remaining part of the sentence as well. And that they will definitely not go if such is not the case. So here I'm going to immerse myself into the scene and here is what I'm going to do. Now, here is how I visualize the scenario. Let's say I am one of the people in this couple. Okay. Now, I'm sitting here today and I'm making a decision for T plus one evening. Okay. And the decision is about whether or not we are going to the beach. Okay. There are two criteria over here. Criteria number one is that it should be sunny and there should not be any rain. Okay. So it should be sunny and no rain. And when should this be the case? This should be the case at the time of my going to the beach. So T plus one evening. At T plus one evening, it should be sunny and it should not be raining. This is my condition set. If this condition is true, if both these conditions are met, then yay for beach. If these conditions are not met, then no beach. Okay. So that's what it is. Okay. Now that I understand this completely, now I'm going to go to the next part of the passage. Okay. So let's go back here. The next morning, and we are reading this part over here. The next morning, the hour by hour weather forecast. See, we are talking about forecast. Okay. And automatically you should think about, there's nothing about forecast in my conditions. I actually want to be able to see at the time that I'm leaving, is it raining? Is it sunny? If it's not raining and if it's sunny, then yes for the beach. Okay. So here we are talking about weather forecast. So the hour by hour forecast says that in the evening, it will be sunny without rain. The question is, will the couple go to the beach that evening? That's what I have to answer. Okay. So my criteria over here is fairly set. Okay. Right. Now what I'm going to do is look at the two statements. So here is statement one. It is raining on the morning and in the afternoon of the day of their planned beach outing. So what this choice is telling me is what is actually happening on the morning and in the afternoon of the day of, of the planned beach outing. But it is not saying anything about what's happening on the evening, right? And here, this was my primary concern that is it sunny? Is it not raining? at the time that I'm leaving, which is the evening, which means that this statement is not giving me the information that I need, okay? Which means our choices A, B, C, D, and E in a typical DS question, we can eliminate choices A and D just because statement one is not sufficient. Now let's take a look at statement two. The couple always believe that the weather forecast is likely to be accurate, okay? Now, even if the couple believes that the weather forecast is likely to be accurate, does that tell us exactly whether in the evening that they are supposed to go, it will be sunny and it will not be raining? Absolutely not, which means even this statement is not sufficient, which means uh, between choices B, C and D, we can now eliminate choice B as well. Okay. Now we can come, we can combine these two bits of information. Now, when we combine these bits of information, what do you get? Statement number one told us nothing about what actually happened in the evening, right? So that doesn't help us. Likewise, statement number two told us nothing about what actually happened, right? In the evening again, right? All this is saying is that yes, the couple believes that the forecast is, is usually true, which means that both of these statements are together also not sufficient, which means choice C is eliminated and choice E is the correct answer. Let's quickly recap this entire solution. First and foremost, we understood the passage. And to understand the passage, what we did was we 
immersed ourselves in the scenario such that we knew exactly it's as if we were going to the beach. It's as if we were the ones making the decision. When you immerse yourself in the scene, then it, then the entire condition set and drawing inferences and all that stuff becomes really easy. Okay. Once we had a solid idea of what is, what is required for us to make the decision, right? What is that decision criteria? Then analyzing the two answer choices and again you always have to look at one answer choice at a time first look at statement one based on your analysis of statement one then you or you make decisions about choices a or d then you look at statement b over here statement two over here and based on your analysis of statement two then you decide whether choice b is correct or not and then if B is also not correct, then you combine these two together. And, and in this case, it was a slam dunk. We knew that neither of the two choices, whether independently or together, give us the answer that we are looking for. So again, long story short, immerse yourself in the scene. Okay.